Good morning, Good morning girls, it's Wednesday! <laughs> Yay, it's Wednesday, and it's also Ashley's birthday, so Ashley, I love you, happy birthday. Um, my, my camera has been really, like, spacey, and my computer has been kind of spacey, um, and I think it's because I was recording in my car yesterday, and I turned, and my computer fell. So, I think it's like, I think I kind of broke it, which is really pissing me off. But we have a lot to do today, so I'm gonna get started! Actually, thank you for thanking the crew because I know how much work the crew does and a lot of actors don't realize and don't appreciate it and it, it means the world that you do um, to me. If, if your crew doesn't realize that, it does mean the world to me for you to thank them. So I was editing and my computer lagged with sound and stuff because it's messed up and um, so I have to fix it. So Megan, it is really sad to see like things I've seen like billboards that I've seen for a really long time be one way, be something different. Um, it, it's really weird. It was really weird to walk by Eugene O'Neill and not see Spring Awakening because I've seen Spring Awakening five times and I've walked by that building tons more. Um, I, I mean, like, I've kind of gotten used to how the Netherlander looked over the past couple of months because I always go and I stop and I rest in peace. <laughs> But um, it was really weird to see the Eugene O'Neill like that. And I did not think 33 Variations was going there because I already thought 33 Variations is already on. So yeah, but it's a, it's a limited run so it's going to change again really soon. So hopefully something better will be there because it deserves it. At least Guys and Dolls is a good show to be put in the Netherlander. And they got to redo the Netherlander so I'm really happy. Ash, um, no, 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 who's Monday? Emily, let me know when you come into the city um, after you're done with England. They have a blast in England. Um, I know you're going through like rough times and it sucks. But it, you, this vacation falls perfect because you just need to like get away. Um, I think I would if I was dealing with that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, let me know like what times you're in the city during the day on Tuesday and I'll see if I can come in and see you because that would be awesome. Um, Sierra, I don't like your school district. Why would they think about closing schools? That is not cool. Um, <laughs> I would vote no, but I'm a future teacher. So yeah. As you can see, Harry Potter pawns Twilight. Um, so I have read the books. I don't have my copy of Twilight. I'm lending it out to a friend right now. Um, I've read Twilight and New Moon and Half of Eclipse and I've read all of the Harry Potter series. I've read the first four multiple, multiple times, soon to times to go. Um, five, six, and seven I haven't read that much, but I mean I still do love the story. And <clears throat> I just have to say, as a future author, as an English major, <clears throat> as someone who reads all the freaking time, and especially young adult literature, Harry Potter is literally, and not like, like book-wise, better than Twilight. It's written better, it's edited better, the story is better. Um, what basically happened was when Harry Potter was over, the fan base was looking for a new epic story to follow, and Twilight was the one to go to. Um, <clears throat> which was really bad because they only had one book left after the seventh Harry Potter book came out. Like, what the hell? Like, start with, like, the, the Blue Bloods because that has, like, eight books and now they're on the second or something. I don't know. Um, Stephanie Meyer, ru I feel like she rushes her writing. She doesn't take time to go over it and revise and edit. And that's just carelessness as an author. Um, in the interview of the Twilight movie, the special feature, she said she saw the book as a movie, which isn't how you should be writing it. You shouldn't write a book in pre preparation for the movie that's going to come out. You should write a book to read. Um, I have to say, 
I did go to the Twilight Midnight release because it was supposed to be Harry Potter, and I refused. Like, I was going out that night. I had planned to go out that night for six, seven months. I was going out that night, and I dressed up in my Harry Potter garb, and and I got a high five because I did. And I was the only one in the theater who was dressed up, and when Robert Pats came on the screen, screen, I yelled, I love you, Cedric! So, okay, he was Cedric first, he was ours first. Um... The concept of Twilight and the plotline is very good. Twilight is definitely the best book in the Twilight series, but <clears throat> it just gets worse and worse. New Moon has it. It could use some editing. It could use some revising. Um, Eclipse, I can't get through. I don't know why. I don't even remember what happens. Um, and Breaking Dawn, I've read bits, bits and pieces of it, and it's just, like, a freaking two-year-old could write better. Okay? And if there's any Twilight fans out there, you can... Go suck it, because hands down, Harry Potter is written better, it's produced better, even the movies are produced better. It, I think the Twilight movie's filming in 12 weeks, and Harry Potter films in, 40, in 54. So, who shows you who's better, okay? Um, I do love Pattinson um, with all my heart. I love him as Cedric. I think he's the most horrible Edward ever. Um, I just don't think he wants to be Edward, and now he's signed on for four movies, and it's three more movies. Um, but I will go see him at the New Moon premiere in December in London. But that's only because I love my Cedric, and I loved him four years ago when the third Harry Potter movie came out. And everyone was like, oh, Cedric, I love you! And I was like, excuse me, I have loved him since the day I met him while reading the third Harry Potter movie book. Okay, I've loved Cedric from the beginning, so don't even start with me. And now everyone's all, oh, Robert Pattinson, you're so hot! And I'm like... I started it, okay? I knew four years ago. So, stop it. I was first. Go away. Um, I could go into a lot more. Sorry, I'm like Fall Flemmy. Um, I could go into a lot more, but I'm not going to just because I don't feel like wasting your time. Or mine, talking about this stupid book. Um, but I do definitely think if you are a reader, you should read it. Um, I only read it because I did want to be able to talk to people about it. I didn't want to go in being ignorant being like, oh, it's a stupid book, when I didn't even read it. Um, an educated writer, an educated reader, um, reads everything and tries to read everything to the end. And I'm not a huge fan of sci-fi, but I do like some sci-fi. Um, Scott Westerfeld is an amazing sci-fi writer. He just locks you in and keeps you going, even though it's sci-fi. If you don't like sci-fi, Scott Westerfeld will keep you going. And this was just... It, it was too... Un, like it was so predictable that it was unrealistic. Bell, I mean, John Green said that Edward Cullen is a vast human, is a vast being in which teenage girls can cast their hopes and dreams into. And that is not what I'm looking for in a guy. I'm looking for a guy who has a personality, which is why I'm Team Jacob. Actually, I'm Team Mike Newton. I love Mike Newton, because um, I want to be with Mike Newton. If it's who Bella should be with, I'm Team Edward because she has no personality either. And Christian Stewart doesn't have personality, so and I don't think Stephanie Meyer has personality. So I haven't read The Host. I do want to read The Host because I think The Host will be better than the Twilight series. Um, but I heard she pumped out Twi uh, Breaking Dawn like two months, and that is not writing. It takes years and years of revising and editing. Editing. Uh, I mostly blame the publisher. You know, it's not Stephanie's fault that she wrote a bad book. It's the publishers for publishing the bad book. So, um, I promise you guys I will never write a book that is as bad as Twilight. And if I do, please tell me before it gets published. Now, this lovely and gross thing is my egg. Yeah, I used the Kelly cup. It's got bubbles on it, but we're going to do this in the kitchen because it's gross. I literally have one minute to say two minutes worth of stuff. One, um, I did the egg challenge, but I didn't feel like editing it down, so go get that next week. Two, Taylor's still looking for money, so if you want to donate, I'm donating five bucks. Um, go over there. Actually, I might be donating ten bucks. I don't know. I have to look at my checkbook. Um, my challenge is whoever I rolls have to, has to do chubby bunny, which you put a marshmallow in your mouth, and you say one chubby bunny, and you put two, and you put two chubby bunnies until you, like, practically need to throw up. And that got shot to Megan. Um, I think that's it. Actually, I'll see you tomorrow.